मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी सीरीज आउटलुक फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स मे टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी एज यू वेरी वेल अंडरस्टैंड दैट ट्रेजरी कंसल्टिंग इज अ ग्रुप हु इज ऑलवेज बैकिंग हिज थॉट्स विद नंबर्स बिकॉज आई ऑल्सो पर्सनली फील दैट नंबर्स आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वी हैव इन द लाइफ एंड नंबर्स कैन क्रिएट एनी मैजिक इफ यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द नंबर्स वेरी वेल इन योर लाइफ there is no doubt that the market is facing lot of stress so before moving to nifty and bank nifty let me discuss the stress market is facing like today morning when i uh, got up you know i got to know that uh, around 80 flights which are scheduled to depart from delhi to respective states they being cancelled and when the passengers uh went to the airport they scanned their boarding pass because i read clearly that as per the dgca guidelines you need to have the you know web check in for that so when they scanned that uh, their boarding pass they got to know that the flight has been cancelled and and i can clearly understand because god will god blessing i traveled the whole asia i can clearly understand that how messed the customer might had faced at that point of time when he got to know that somehow the flight resumed and they are now cancelled i can clearly understand that another thing which i was uh, reading is that and i spoke to few people of india bulls they gave me their they they actually called us and lot of people you know that shared lot of links with us that around 2000 people from india bulls asked to step down and many employees on twitter and the various social media platform claims that although i do not know what is the authenticity of that information nothing personal but they claim that they got the whatsapp calls and they being forced to resign without any compensation and all i don't know what is the actual reality behind that but one thing which i can relate is that whether the resignation was on the whatsapp call or it was a forced reg- resignation without any severance pay uh but the matter of fact is clear that the big companies in india are also in a huge stress so and that stress is accumulating because india bulls is definitely not a small company so that stress is accumulating and this stress may even take the worst shape and when i opened the bloomberg at 9 am in the time i got to know something which just made me frustrated that in hong kong people are again back on the road and they are doing fighting fighting come on guys the chinese corona virus situation is before us the vaccination has not been done the resolution has not been done no global organization of the globe till now can give in writing that this vaccination is tried and tested and able to remove or mitigate all the impacts of the virus on the human body and what are what we are up to we what we are up to thousands of people back on the road and they are fighting with the government over few legal issues come on you might had issues you might be having issues you already fought it and the end result is that only in the one quarter the hong kong gdp went contracted by 9% in fact even after that many people not been able to understand the 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 implications of the same which they are doing and it is it is quite surprising and also frustrated for me that in a very advanced society like hong kong people are coming on the roads and fighting when they know that this pandemic is nowhere closer to over so that is something a surprising to me and most important thing which we are also looking from an indian angle in this video is that the startups are once again back to the funding board like and in fact uh, you know this uh, information is of divided into two parts before we go nifty and bank nifty first of all i hope you heard about big basket and once we talk about big basket a name comes to our mind is sharuk khan because sharuk khan is a brand endorsement of this big basket well no personal comment to sharuk khan because majority of the startups in india they have either cricketers or bollywood as their celebrities rest we all know that till what extent the effectiveness of that uh, endorsement so according to the information that came in the public domain that big basket to raise up to 200 million dollars big basket to raise up to 200 million dollars and big basket is eyeing a 
is raise up to 200 million dollars and big basket appointed goldman sachs and morgan stanley to raise this fund so they hired the two leading investment bankers of the globe goldman and morgan to raise this money and guys by the way do not forget that we work also hired goldman and morgan to raise the funds don't forget that it's not a comment on goldman because every time whenever the company raise money they always hire the best investment bankers remember this Big Basket is eyeing a valuation of $2 billion in its latest round. And that once again raises the same question that startups who are in losses since inception, celebrities as a brand endorsement, thousands and thousands of dollars are going as a fees for this celebrity, losses on the board and due to pandemic the sales is falling and everything is happening but still the valuation is $2 billion. Come on. Okay. <coughs> And one thing that clearly surprises me, you know, uh, in, in this whole uh, issue is that how everything is shaping up on the Indian indices. It is very tough now because everyone anticipated or envisaged that the flights will start from 25th, the, but flight, flight won't. No one anticipated that Hong Kong will once again back to action action, but Hong Kong is doing action action. So there are many things which are happening, which is very difficult to predict. In fact, it is changing at every level of the game. We are thankful that we got some data because we always speak with data just like just till now. On 31st May 2019, which is precisely one year from now, 31st May 2019, the Nifty was at around 11,922. So precisely speaking, it is around 12,000. So 31st May 2019, Nifty was around 12,000. Okay. And one year down the line, one year ago, the foreign institutional investors pumped around 9,800 crores at that given point of time. So what I wanted to convey is that one year from one year ago, 31st May 2019, foreign, the Nifty was at around 12,000 and foreign institutional investor pumped closer to 10,000 crores, which is precisely 9,800 crores they pumped. Okay, good. Heavy, good news. Very good. Straight one year from now, which is 22nd May 2020, the day we got the data, Nifty is around 8,000 and no, sorry, Nifty is around 9,039, which means that from 12,000 to 9,000, which means that Nifty got you know chopped up by around 3,000 points, and this is what I was saying from a long ago, right. Having said that, the investment is reversed. So for 31st May 2019, one year ago, institutional investor pumped 9,800 crores, but on 22nd May 2020, they withdrew around 8,000 crores. And this is what data is saying. It means the complete reversal. It means the market also fallen and the funding which uh, institutional investor pumped that is reversed so rather than investing they took the money back okay but the story do not end here rather the story starts from here and what is that story is that story according to the data you know that in april the foreign institutional investors sold equities worth 3400 crores I repeat, in April, foreign investors sold equities worth 3,400 3, crores. In May, the net sales is around 8,000 crores, which is almost more than double. And having said that, this excludes the large purchase of the 7th May due to the block deals of Hindustan Newer Limited when we know that the block deal happened. So net net in April, foreign institutional investors sold securities and in May, they once again sold double than that. In April, they sold 3,400 and in May, they sold 8,000 crores. Okay. Okay. And the drastic thing comes here. 
foreign investors have been withdrawing from emerging markets so india is no exception they have pulled out around 26 billion from the developing asian economies they have pulled out 26 billion from developing asian economies in quarter 1 according to a recent report by congression research center so it means they pulled out 20 26 billion and out of 26 billion how much is the indian component we already explained to you okay but the story do not end here rather there are the twist come here on 12th of may when the package was announced by the prime minister worth 10% of the gdp around 20 lakh crores and immediately after that many analysts came in public domain and unfortunately we not got the time to came in public domain but we are planning a video soon they said that it is not 1% of the gdp rather it is it is not 10% of the gdp rather it is 1% of the gdp the reason is it hold two components which i also understand fiscal fiscal component and the liquidity component and they said that the fiscal component in this package is less than 1% in fact many economists and research agencies concluded that it is less than 0.7% having said that the mathematical composition of this is not available in the public domain so we are evaluating how come it is less than 0.7% but according to the data after the package was announced on 12th of may foreign investors have sold shares worth 10500 crores foreign investors have sold shares worth 10500 crores even after friday interest rate cut by rbi and the extension of the loan moratorium the market continue to remain worried the mood problem is the generation of cash flows of the company in the future so thankfully people are understanding the mood problem now when i look at this whole circumstances and especially linking of the today news about the aviation sector i feel that tomorrow when the market open it would really be stress market for multiple reasons i think this week is going to be a stressful one because of the fact that tomorrow which is tuesday european central bank is releasing the financial stability review I don't know how many of you understand financial stability review how many understand what is the meaning of financial stability review but FSB we call this financial stability uh, FSR financial stability review this is very important for any economy and it lets you know that where exactly the economy is moving and till what extent the economy is moving or not we feel that the non banking financial corporation and few stocks i am not naming only for this is only for customers non banking financial corporation few stocks would be on the radar in market and they may fall 20% probably in this week the most important thing is fedness day when the federal reserve will release the annual beach book i even do not know whether how many of you know the what is beach book and what is the relevance of the beach book every year federal reserve released a beach book in which federal reserve gives what what had happened in the past and what's their outlook for the future and guys i don't know till what extent you following the federal reserve you are visiting their websites and check all the information they give but till now i'm thankful to federal reserve that beach book is one of the fantastic research they publish although it's very technical and you you need to work hard to understand that but awesome no doubt about that I think it's Thursday or Friday when uh, the NRC in Chinese basically their parliamentary system will conclude their talks and if there is any retaliation from China side that retaliation will happen on Friday I expect it may happen on on Saturday and Sunday also so the impact on the commodities is always there there is no doubt about that in fact the big worry news for me is that just I got on the Bloomberg that cnh fixing now 7.14 it was 7.10 grew to 7.11 raised lot of eyebrows now went to 7.12 and now 7.14 it means oops it has crossed all limits i feel this week is going to be a stressful week i think that the government has done with all kind of uh stimulus packages their explanations on nbfc rbi is pretty much done with the repo rate and the reverse repo rate cut and i think rbi himself is aware of the fact that 
the repo rate cut might not end up you know getting what rbi is expecting on the reverse repo rate cut it is quite surprising that the banks are parking closer to 7 to 8 trillion inr and that is as per the public domain banks are parking 7 to 8 trillion inr to rbi to attract an interest of 3.5 to 3.75 percent so where is the lending happening except god no one knows neither you know nor i know in fact yesterday when we got the number we explained this to the number also that compared to 2008 to 2016 2019 everything has collapsed whether it is non-food credit it is retail lending or it is you know the funding to the industry so this week would be definitely a tight week for nifty Indian operators need to work very hard as usual to make sure that Nifty should not fall 9000 level because 9000 is a psychological barrier. If Nifty fall below 9000 and God forbid the beach book comes negative or on Friday we see any kind of retaliation from China on US in terms of trade war, tariffs and what not, then mess is definitely on the cards. Commodities would definitely be stressful. I do not have any doubt on that. I think that this week would be negative for crude. I am expecting one negative news for crude. To conclude this discussion, I don't expect that it is a market for young guys. I think young guns should stay away from this market. I am repeating again and again. I really don't know till what extent they are capable enough to understand these intricacies in the market, but these intricacies are definitely here that we that that we all understand. And of course, Hindi media will definitely playing the role. They will have few stocks and they continue to play these stocks and I, I you know how it happens. So be careful guys, there is a lot of stress we have around the market and this stress is relevant or not. We don't know but one thing we know that this stress would surely have an impact on your investment style and investment strategies that's for sure and after India bulls cutting jobs Indian startups cutting jobs I think it's 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 a big thing which is happening in the market the more the people cut, the more companies cut jobs, it would have a direct impact on the FMCG sector because my purchasing power will go down straight. If you have 100 rupees in your pocket, you purchase goods worth 40. If you have 40 rupees in your pocket, you purchase goods worth 10. That's clear. And I don't think even the best economists of the globe can disregard this statement. So markets are pretty tight. Be careful. Last but not the least, we expect that banking stocks will fall. That we are expecting. I think, I think in this week, considering all what happened, banking stocks may fall further. This is our view on Nifty and Bank Nifty. And uh, you know our hedge fund. If you have any information about the hedge fund, our paid groups, Sheetal Academy, anything, you're welcome to contact me, plus nine one. Nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. But guys, remember that the mess has just started. If this mess would continue two months from now, neither you know nor I know, but something big is going to get happen. That's for sure. I really don't know till what extent the media is prepared, but one thing I know is that we are not prepared. We are still living in the world of fantasy and fantasies never make us win. We need to come on the ground and we need to work to make our dream realized. So be careful, improve a lot of knowledge, continuously read newspapers because God knows what news is waiting for us in the market. Have a good time. Anything? 9899242978. Thank you.